Hey everyone, Chris for Project Mobile here. Continuing on with the comics theme here, I have a hands-on going on with three big apps. Uh, the one you're seeing right now is Marvel's own app, DC's app, as well as an app called Comics, uh, made by the team uh, Comixology, which is basically the tech behind all three apps. I'm only going to really show you one app because once you've seen one, you've basically seen them all. And I'll show you Comics here. Comics is kind of the main app. It, it has everything from almost everything from DC and Marvel, but it's also the same place you're going to get all the independent stuff. So this is Comics. Then I'll bounce out, I'll show you DC Comics app. And if you remember what the other one looked like, you'll say, hey, this looks a lot familiar. Bounce out. And we'll look at Marvel's app which, uh, believe it or not, looks exactly the same as all of the mother. Uh, like I said, they're all made by basically the same people. The only real difference is sort of a differentiation or separation of the brand. I'm going to just show you guys the comics app because that brings all three together. And it kind of, and well, for one, it's one of the two that has retina ready graphics. So everything looks fantastic. And by the way, these are also available on the iPhone and iPod touch, but come on, they're comics. You should be reading these on the iPad. Uh, Graphics and everything quality-wise look fantastic, especially because there are comics that now support CMX-HD, which is the high-quality uh, content uh, format. That's the word, sorry. That's the word I'm trying to think of here. Format for the comics, so they look fantastic. I never really thought they looked bad before, but to give you an idea of how the apps work, they are two things. They are a storefront as well as a reader. The storefront is pretty simple. It's just icons and icons and rows. It's sort of like the Netflix app is now. Uh, you'll see a lot of really good stuff, especially digital stuff that comes out the same day as the print edition. You're going to see digital exclusives. Um, I think there's a Batman comic that does that. You're going to see lots of great sales. The store is pretty well done. Um, it, it does did a decent job, sort of like the App Store, of curating and picking out some old, some uh, some good stuff. You see some old comics here as well coming back. Popular. Uh, you can do some filtering. I, I found the filtering to be less useful as it is, is if you just kind of know what you're looking for, if you just go through it and look through more of the, either the series or the story arc stuff. Or if you happen to know you have a creator, like say Grant Morrison, that you really like, you can pick this and it will give you a good breakdown of some of his stuff. Um, for the stuff you have downloaded or purchased and even just the free stuff, it's going to remember all of that, especially under your account. Once you have that, it'll keep a complete history because the thing is, a lot of these retina-ready comics, as well as even the normal ones, when you start getting big series and big issues, for example, Wasteland, the Omnibus, I think it's like five or 600 megabytes at least, if I remember correctly, this is going to start taking up a lot of space and probably a reason why you should have bought a higher, higher storage iPad. But there's a lot of stuff that you have sort of as your history. However, the real deal is in your comics. Now you can change views here and switch it up so it's list view and I happen to have only W's in this app right now, but if you had ABC, it would it would break them out. But because I have so little currently, I like to do it like this. It's a little more visual. It looks a lot nicer. Walking Dead, fantastic stuff. Got these on sale. Comixology and a lot of other apps, by the way. Very useful to follow them all on Twitter. They have great sales. So that's the storefront. There really isn't too much to it. It's exactly It's almost exactly the same as the DC and Marvel stuff, just the bottom changes up to be a little more tuned to their universes and it has a little different separation. But reading comics in either of these apps, either three of these apps is exactly the same. They all work in the same way. Now, I happen to be in the middle of Wasteland, which is great because it will remember your place. It's sort of how you see the page tilted off. If I were to go back to say The Walking Dead, I haven't started these yet, so they're not Mark just read, but if we go to Wasteland here, it will remember your spot in the story, which is fantastic. Now, the one thing you're going to notice that's very different than iBooks is that this works more just like you have a PDF, a very high quality PDF. It's one page per screen, unlike iBooks, where you have the whole two pages sort of sliding on the below. So if we start here, it's full screen, which is really nice. You just tap the center, you bring up everything else. Um, if you want to go through the comics say, Hey, you know, I'm on 53 now, but I remember something on page, I don't know, 27, you can quickly flip back and forth, which is really nice. It, it really does help to have that quick switch. Um, through in the things you can also do transitions and the speeds. Now I'll show you exactly what those are for in a second, but there are, there are some options. This is really more, this is really more for, um, the guided view. And I'll show you that in just one second. But for now, you can just swipe around, 
pages do take just just a second to load and this is not a retina ready comic but it looks fantastic um i'll do my best here to show you something the thing though is that this text is a little smaller than most comics has so this could be even a good a better way to kind of show you whoops how great a lot of this really looks that focus on that so i know it's pretty tough to see that through youtube and through a camera you know multiple things getting compressed and moving around but take my word on it these comics are great even when they are not retina ready the retina ready ones are even more fantastic so guided view it's what's new unique to these three apps as opposed to pretty much any other comic app or reading an app or reading an app reading a comic as like a pdf to activate uh, guided view you just double tap anywhere in the comic and instead of seeing page by page and viewing everything in each page, it will do more action by action in sort of the flow and text of how the creators or I guess whoever in the app has in charge of this is, is able to do. So if we have this, we keep tapping, we'll see that as I'm tapping through, this is going through the story. And this is exactly the order and I guess which the creators or the people who did the app want you to read the book in. This is a little more handy for the iPhone and iPod Touch, something with a smaller screen, or the iPod, iPad original, so many i products, ah, losing track. The iPad original or the iPad 2, because of the much lower resolution screen, it really sucks reading comics zoomed out, especially comics that don't adhere to, I guess, more of a standard size lettering. This is a lot smaller. So the guided view is really helpful. I don't use it very much, if at all, in the retina display. There is a little quality loss, obviously, because you're going to see instead of this cell being tiny part of the page, it is zoomed up. Now, on comics that are not HD ready, you'll notice kind of the degradation. It looks more like a JPEG that you've zoomed in on. But with the CMX-HD format ready comics, far less noticeable. They look fantastic. So the apps are great. Um, they're really not something I would call excessively special or good. They really serve their purpose. They're good. They do what they need to do. The pricing in a lot of the comics is fantastic. Uh, for now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them, but it would be nice in the future if there were either more options or if the comics were a little more media savvy and interactive than just sort of pages and PDFs right now that you just flip through.